Christmas is coming early. As a lot of you guys know, I promise to give out a free play here on the channel when we hit that 10,000 subscriber mark. We're not quite there. We're currently at 965 but the time is now. UFC 305 is this weekend. There's a play that I want to throw your guys' way. It's going to be a little controversial. Some of you guys may say, oh man, is, is, is that really the target that you want to give for a free play? Why isn't he just giving uh, an, an easy layup type of play? We're not doing it like that. We're attacking some serious value here. I'm dropping the grapefruits on you guys. Now, if you guys like this kind of content and you want more free official plays coming your guys' way, let me know by smashing that like button right now. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so we can hit that 10K subscriber count. Also, go follow me on my social media. I got my Twitter and IG listed below. I will start putting out free official plays on those platforms. And some of them may not be posted here on the YouTube channel. So you don't want to miss those free plays when they come your guys way. I hope to see you guys all joining me this upcoming Saturday for the main card for UFC 305 as we will have the interactive fight companion going down. And last thing, if you want all my official plays for this card, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I even got my email scrolling below. Uh, we have a lot of big time targets for this card. This is just one of my targets here. I got some big time targets. So if you want them all, reach out to me. The teller, the teller, the teller, the teller, the teller. So you guys already know what time it is. We're talking some main event action. The big kahuna of the fight card, Drekis Duplessis taking on Israel Adesanya. I just see everyone online starting to say that, so I'm going to follow uh, the lead there. Everyone's referring to him now as Adesanya instead of Israel Adesanya. I guess that's the actual pronunciation, but this fight is going to be crazy. You have one of the greatest middleweights of all time, one of the greatest UFC fighters of all time in Israel and Asanya. Love him or hate him. I mean, the dude is so talented. He's coming in with his back up against the wall, if you ask me, after that last performance against Sean Strickland. On the other hand, uh, Drikas Duplessis is the current middleweight champion of the world, and he's coming off a stellar performance against Sean Strickland. Yes, I actually did score that fight for Sean Strickland, but it was razor close, and you have to love the way that Drakus Duplessis looked late in that fight. He looked very good in the fourth round. He showed that his cardio is getting better and better as he's growing as a fighter. Uh, we, we heard uh, about him having this nasal surgery. Maybe there really is some truth to that benefiting his cardio. Now, if you're stubborn and you weren't that pleased with the performance of DDP and his last fight, then let's just rewind it one fight before that. How about his performance against Robert Whitaker? I mean, that was amazing to go out there and do that to the Reaper. And then you've seen how the Reaper has bounced back since that fight. I mean, he's still hitting on all cylinders. That really shows the level that DDP is hitting on right now. He absolutely dismantled the Reaper in that fight, getting the finish in the second round. Before that, victories over Derek Brunson, Darren Till, and Brad Tavares, getting finishes in two of those three fights. How about the Derek Brunson fight? Do you guys remember that one? DDP was a man on a mission. Nobody was going to stop him from getting the finish in that cage. And that's when we were kind of speculating that he had lower level cardio and his mouth was open. He was breathing heavily, but boy, he just never stops. He was going to get that finish regardless. And that's exactly what he did there in the second round. Now let's run through a checklist of certain advantages or disadvantages for each fighter. One advantage that really stands out to me right off the rip for DDP over Israel Adesanya is the fact that he is just 30 years old. He is entering his physical prime. He has a lot of mileage left on his vehicle. On the other hand, Israel Adesanya is 35 years old and he's coming off this temporary uh, contemplation of retirement or whatever you want to call it. These fighters are at different levels in their career. Let's piggyback right off that. I have another advantage as far as durability goes for DDP. With the age of Israel Adesanya and the recent damage that he's taken, I have major question marks about his durability in this fight. In his last fight, he was tagged in the first round by Sean Strickland. He was wobbled. He was hurt. Sean Strickland's not even really a fighter that's known for having big time power. We saw that Adesanya did not have a lot of confidence in his durability after taking that shot. He was on the back foot for the rest of that fight, basically accepting defeat. Okay, in the fight before that, a great bounce back victory against Alex Pereira uh, as he was coming off a loss to Alex before that. But let's not forget, Izzy was hurt in the beginning parts of that fight. He was on the back foot. He had his backup 
up against this ca- the cage. If you ask me, if he didn't catch him with that zappy counter, I really do believe Israel Adesanya was in route to wilting against the cage once again and getting finished via TKO. The fight before that, we saw him get finished in the fifth round. You mix those three last fights that he had with his age. And I think you have to give an advantage to DDP as far as his durability goes. He's a fighter that's only been knocked out once in his career. That knockout came a while back against an underrated fighter, a fighter that was making some noise in the KSW scene for quite a while, has a solid resume in Roberto Soldich. Uh, he did catch him there in the third round, but that's about it. That is it, actually. Okay, you're talking about DDP, a fighter that has fought 23 times as a pro. He's been finished one time. We've seen him eat some big shots before. Uh, he's made a stone, man. He, he is one of the more upper echelon fighters, in my opinion, as far as durability and his chin goes which is going to be crucial because we know Adesanya is an absolute sniper. And as DDP looks to pressure and push the pace on Izzy, he's probably going to have to eat a couple shots. Izzy is a sharpshooter, and I think that he will touch DDP up a little bit, especially early on in the fight. How will DDP hold up? I feel pretty confident that he's a fighter that could walk through what Izzy is going to throw his way. Now, what is an advantage for Israel Adesanya in this matchup? There's no question about it. If DDP fights at range, he will be outmatched. Israel Adesanya is one of the greatest fighters of all time at fighting from range. In fact, overall, he's one of the greatest uh, strikers that we've ever seen in the game. And if DDP cannot close the distance on him, if he cannot close the cage off and make this an uglier type of affair, Israel Adesanya will have a lot of success with his leg kicks and can pick him apart from range. It won't be as exciting of a fight. Uh, but that is certainly an advantage for Israel Adesanya here. Just to dive into some numbers here, DDP landing 6.49 strikes per minute compared to Israel Adesanya's 3.93. It correlates exactly to what we see on tape. DDP is a, a much more aggressive fighter that pushes the pace in his fights. Israel Adesanya, a more patient counter striker, uh, which also correlates to the defensive stats here. Israel Adesanya only being landed on at 3.11 strikes per minute, while DDP is there to be hit at 4.77. That's a higher percentage there. But when you mix the overall recipe, there is still a slight lean of four striking percentage on DDP, all right? If they go to war, no one's getting knocked out. DDP will be landing a little bit more so on Izzy than he's being absorbed uh, per, per the numbers. All this striking talk, uh, what about the grappling aspect of this matchup? I think it favors DDP uh, to say the least. I think that DDP is a very underrated grappler, first and foremost. DDP is a fighter whose actual base is his grappling. Not a lot of people think of that because they think of him as this fighter that goes in there and looks to take the opposition's head off uh, with his hands. But he started training judo at a very young age and then dove right into the wrestling scene also at a very young age. His base going into MMA is his grappling. I think he's the more physically stronger fighter here. And if he can close the distance off in this fight and corner Izzy, I really do believe that he can get Izzy down to the mat. We saw Jan Blakovich have a lot of success against Israel Adesanya in that light heavyweight championship fight. I know Izzy was going up in weight, but DDP is also a massive fighter here. Uh, he's not just a small middleweight, so you want to talk about fighting a large fighter in there. DDP is a mammoth middleweight. All right, boys, so what's the call? I think I made it very clear from the get-go, and if you saw my full prediction video for the card, you guys know I already chose DDP to win this fight. Also, if you're following me on IG, I've been putting content out already uh, about how I think DDP is going to get the better of this fight. I like Drickus Duplessis to get the job done. I think that he defends his title here. He has multiple avenues to get the job done, but I actually think he's going to get the finish in this fight with his striking. I think he's going to get a TKO finish on Israel Adesanya, or we see him hurt Izzy, and we see Izzy once again not really fighting with a lot of confidence in the cage, and DDP will cruise his way to a decision. I have major question marks about where Izzy's mind's at. Now, let's take a look at this line movement. DDP opened up as a minus 105 on BetUS. Big action came in on Israel Adesanya a little bit ago. At one point in time, you could have caught DDP as high as a plus 130 underdog. Talk about value there. Uh, you could have grabbed them at plus odds for quite a bit, in fact, uh, for, for days here. But recently, we've seen a lot of action coming in on DDP all across the board. This fight right now is currently at pick em odds. Pick your poison. I still see value on DDP. I think DDP will be the superior fighter here. How about this? A free play 
on a fighter that was just a plus 130 underdog and still fading one of the greatest fighters uh, to have ever done it, okay? Like I said, man, I had to drop the grapefruits on you boys. We'll see how this ages, but this was a play that I, I wanted to post here on the channel as a free official play. I wanted to really stir things up here, and I'm feeling quite confident in DDP. So comment below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this fight. I know the pot is really stirring right now. Michael Vick here at BetUS.com. Get it all. Huge bonuses, great odds, a race book, live in-game betting, and a casino. BetUS, my online sports book and casino. And we are ready for whatever comes our way this Saturday night. And remember, you guys can actually see my live reaction to the fight as I will be live for the entire main card. All right. So you will see my reaction. If Israel Adesanya hits him with that counter sniper shot, uh, you guys will see my reaction there and I'll be devastated. But hopefully at that point in time, it won't even matter because we would have cleaned out all our early official plays and we would have a lot of money to play with. We just capitalized on Dana White's contender series this past Tuesday, hitting both of our two targets on that event so things are, are, are really moving nicely right now we got money to play with and i'm not hesitating on it here i'm pushing all my chips in for ufc 305 and i think it's going to be an epic night all right let me know are you guys fading me or are you tailing me come on guys and on that note there's only one thing left to do signing out teller the teller the teller the teller